So today's video is on my gas water heater and here's the model. It's a 40 gallon GE power vent and pull back a little bit here you can see that it's uh, definitely running on natural gas and the power vent model has this um, fan at the top that really uh, takes the air out and pushes it to the outside. It's not so much the air but it's really the um, combustible gas that it's uh, venting outside. And so I never knew how many watts this used but um, that's what today's video is. But uh, what I've done is I uh, went ahead and hooked up a, a kilowatt and this may be really hard to see on camera because uh, it's kind of up in the ceiling here but it's drawing 1.6 watts at idle uh, but the nice thing about a natural gas water heater is in the event of a power outage we pretty much as long as we had water and um, some form of electric, you know, whether that be a generator or an inverter with batteries, uh, we'd have hot water to get our showers. And uh, believe it or not, that's a huge creature comfort when your power's out. Uh, it's not too fun if you ever got a cold shower. It's doable, but um, not fun. So anyway, uh, this water heater actually is from 2011 and uh, it's getting close to its end of life. I mean, I would expect it to last probably 10 years. So uh, it's got a few years left to it, but I really don't expect it to go more than 10 to 12 years uh, before I have to replace it. But uh, I'm initially going to guess, if I had to take a guess, I would guess somewhere about 100 watts, 200 watts at the most. Uh, I could be totally wrong. <laughs> Just looking at the size of this, it doesn't look like anything too large. Uh, but that's uh, what we're here to find out is what I would need to run this during a power outage. So when the draw for uh, the hot water heater actually kicks on, uh, I'll record that wattage. And I also have it on a 24 hour um, time period. So let me see if I can show that on here. So I wanted to really see uh, how much this would use, how many watts this would use in the course of a day. So uh, I think one of the, I'm trying to remember here, on the kilowatt, you can see it really hasn't used anything. I've had this plugged in since 9.51 and it's 11.14, so it's uh, over an hour. It hasn't really recorded anything because no one's got a shower yet. But I thought this meter had, oh there it is. So that's what I thought it had on it. So a double push of the button. So that's how long it's been running. So one hour and 22 minutes. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to come down here around 9.51 and see how many kilowatt hours it's used over a 24 hour period. And that will tell us approximately um, how many watts it needs over a day. So I'm just going to push that back and we'll actually put it back on watts. So, uh, we'll cut back in when it's calling for heat. Okay, I just heard it kick on. So, 132 watts. thirty-one watts. Okay, so we're back the next day. I think yesterday it was 9.51 a.m. Today is uh, Monday at 10.37. So it's about 24 hours and a half. So we'll just have to figure out and do the math. But I wanted to get the numbers of the kilowatt hours. So if you can see it there, but it's 0.21 kilowatt hours so that basically says 
Oops, you can see. Yes, you should see there 24.44 hours. So you can see it's almost been running 25 hours. And it basically consumed over that period 210 watt hours. So, uh, very, very light usage on the watt hours. And over a 24 hour period. So that would really uh, equate to um, leaving two 100 watt bulbs on for an hour is what that equates to. Uh, so there you have it.